Hi guys, welcome back to Bite Size Excel. In this week's very short video, we're going to take another look at inserting icons, and specifically icon illustrations and how you can edit these to make creative dashboards in your workbook. Now we do have some other videos on inserting images and pictures, as well as a useful shortcut for charts and images. I'll link to those in the description below if you fancy checking them out. However, if we want to look at just inserting an icon, what we do is we come up here to our insert tab, click on there, and then come to this illustrations group and click on this icons button. And when it loads up, you'll see your icons that we've touched on before. Now you can insert any one of these, say I select this airplane and click insert. And you can change things like the outline of your diagram. You can change the color that fills in and a range of other options, which I covered in my earlier videos. However, what we're going to look at now, I'm going to go back to our insert tab and click on icons. You'll remember from previous videos, you can insert stock images. There's now also cutout people, stickers, and what I'm going to touch on today in a little bit more detail is this illustrations tab. So you'll see there's a whole range of different illustrations. You can search, but say we select this scientific one, say we want to create a dashboard that's relating to some a science project maybe, click insert, you'll get this illustration in. Now similar to with your icons, if you were to change your graphics fill, the coloured elements of your chart, you can see it's just the coloured elements that are changing colour. So this is quite handy if you want to align your illustration with say your branding or a particular colour scheme that you're going for. Now to make this a little bit clearer, I'm just going to take off my grid lines for a second and go back to my graphic format. Now one thing that's really useful with these illustrations when you've clicked on them and come to your graphic format tab, there's this convert to shape button. And if we click on that, what will happen is it will convert your illustration into all the individual component shapes that make that up. Now some of these will be shapes that are grouped together. So if we were to right click on this one and come down to group, you can ungroup this and you'll start getting individual lines and individual elements. But essentially what this means, you take any element of these illustrations and you can move it around and amend it to how you see fit. So you'll see this one all moves around as a group. If I right click and go to group, ungroup, it breaks it down to the component parts. So say I just wanted to move this bit for one reason or another, you can move it around. I may want to move this beaker over or to the other side. And again, if I right click, go to group and ungroup, it'll break it down to the different elements. So as we click around, we can amend our image as we see fit, change our colors of different elements if you wish to. So say I wanted to change the color of just this particular shape. So once you have your image the way you would like it, what you can do is you can click on any element within your image, right click, go to your grouping tab and hit regroup. And what it will do is we'll regroup your image back together. If you were to then copy this by hitting Control and C and coming over hitting Control and V, you can paste it say as a PNG. And what you'll have is you'll then have your image file back and you can copy this into any other document that you might want, say into Word if you were doing a science project or onto your dashboard page. So this is really, really handy. I really like this feature within Excel because it allows you to customize your little graphics that you use within your workbook. I hope that you found this really short video useful. I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up. Remember to like and subscribe, and I do look forward to seeing you in a future video.